Marco. All right, so we're here at an installation with the new Master Power 6.5 kilowatt inverter. Um, as you can see, the installation is quite neat. It's very easy to install, mounts on, directly on the wall. Um, and it also has uh, a feature that you can download the app to your phone um, and get the details that you need to get from it. Um, so the apps look similar like this, so you can get some idea. And this can also go directly to your PC as well. So from the inverter, as you can see, this is a single phase inverter. So we're getting 120, 110 volts on each side, 119, 120, depending um, on the input and the output. And directly from the inverter, you can, you can look at your input, um, look at your voltage at 49.9 volts. Um, you can look at your first PV. We have two PVs up there, on one, um, one with X amount of array and the other with X amount of array. And you can see that one is getting 123 volts, 119 volts, 6.6 um, .6 amps. So you can go through it. This PV is producing 810 watts at this point. Then you move to PV2 and you can get the same reading from PV2 and basically that one is producing about 480 watts it's a cloudy day today so we're not getting the full output and the system was just turned on so you can see that the battery is charging and it's taking time to get the charge so this this little arrow here runs you through the features in case you don't have an app um, and you can actually see the the battery output and input um, you can see you know as you go through you'll see different things eight percent on the charging on the other side of the batteries um some things you don't really need to know you can look at the day how much it has produced for the day already but remember we just turn on the system um and you can also get a year production as well so it's quite simple to use very easy um Go back to the front page which is the input and the output so you know that is even about 119 volts on either side again on the installation we have a to protect the unit obviously we have to put things in place so we have an ac disconnect mm. um we have a automatic transfer switch and then we have the dc disconnect so everything basically is very simple if for some reason the system had a problem um, it was the switching by itself or the system came up with a fault light because it has a section of the tape there's a fault then you can ask the customer can actually turn off the AC disconnect and she can switch from solar to JPS and wait on the technical team she's not in hostage waiting um, if there's a major emergency and whatever happens the house is having an issue um, she can also turn off the DC disconnect which will shut down the whole system including the array and go straight to JPS. So it's quite simple. Um, it's an Amiga Pro, which has just come in. It's a very new inverter, it's a dual inverter. It can handle up to about 5,000 watts. Very simple to install and ready to go. So the customer should be seeing savings very quickly. And um, outside would be eight batteries right now because it's a 48 volt system, so it needs to use eight batteries, but it can expand in eight as it goes along. Right now the system is running probably 90% of, uh, of the house in the basic lows, fridge, lights, fans. Um, the battery is not doing too bad at this point, but if I was to turn off JPS and run straight to battery to be able to handle the lows at this time. So this is a new master power inverter that we have now in Jamaica. Looking forward to the savings.